Hi guys, and this is Yolita Brilliant, Brilliant Massage and Skin Care, and I'm drawing here a little bit of sun. It's cold in Burlington, Vermont, so it's nice. But anyway, I wanted to make a video real quick about why you don't want to put coconut oil on your face. While it's very yummy and healthy and good for you, it smells delicious, it's as emollient, it's just too thick and the molecules are too big to penetrate to your tiny pores on the face. So if you want to have it like a coat, protective coat, I don't know, put it on your elbows or knees for the grease, you know, you can do that. But if, especially if you have problematic skin, oily skin, sensitive skin, coconut oil unfortunately is not good and I don't know who came up with this idea well you know research shows that it does have antimicrobial properties it has I think it even has like something to do with collagen in it, vitamins like E I believe but the problem is the molecules in it is just aren't too big to penetrate and to moisturize your skin so it's not gonna actually moisturize your skin what you're gonna end up having gonna have this oily layer but your skin underneath are not gonna be moisturized it's not gonna draw the moisture from the dermis to epidermis like most moisturizers do that are meant to be moisturizers so what i recommend hemp seed oil even apricot kernel seed oil, like what we use here for massage therapy, or best yet, a uh, special like lightweight moisturizer, especially for oily skin, I actually just receive, I have to unpack all that goodness from the PCA that they have, you know, rebalance, clear skin moisturizers. There's also um, sunscreens that are moisturizing, hydrators, uh, or any brand, you know, like even putting just like aloe vera on your face actually might be better or hydrating mists, things like that. So make sure that uh, whatever you're using, you know, you want it to be, of course, free of chemicals. And that's why I think people love coconut oil because it's, you know, it's just natural and you know, assuming you're using like organic coconut oil, but unfortunately, it might cause you breakouts. It will not hydrate the skin. Um, and people don't even know like why my skin is breaking out, you know? But if you put two plus two together, it comes out. I had a friend who just had that happen. And I'm like, no. She, and she just started using coconut oil on the face, you know? The same as like washing your face with soap. Don't do that. It's too harsh. The pH is too too rough on your skin. Use a facial wash. But anyway, thanks for watching, and I hope you have a wonderful day. And I have a little break here, so I'm enjoying some sun, and thought I'll make this little short video for you guys. Bye. If you want to book a facial, that's actually the best way to find out what your skin uh, type is and. Um, you know, the best ingredients that is the easiest to advise to someone. And of course, wear sunscreen. I'm wearing sunscreen. That's why I'm not afraid of sun right now. Even though there's still some that penetrates through the skin anyways when you wear sunscreen. But wear sunscreen, use good moisturizer, use good facial wash, and your skin will thank you. It will age slower, look glowier, nicer, and exfoliate when you can, maybe once a week, chemical exfoliant, try to avoid too much harsh mechanical exfoliants. But anyway, this video is going to get too big and I'm rambling and I'll see you next video. Have a brilliant day. I'm here at Brilliant Massage and Skincare in Burlington, Vermont. And if you are interested in PCA or natural general or mineral makeup, that also doesn't clog your pores. It's really uh, the best makeup that I know of for now get in touch i'll see you soon so hello guys i'm making dinner now and before i upload a video i thought i'd add i need to add the comedogenic scale point there because i was cooking with, oh, co with coconut oil and then i remember oh i didn't mention that in the video i mean earlier so coconut oil is at four in the scale one to five so we want to have as low on our scale as possible the oil that we're going to be using on our face and even then when you use oil on a face, 
oils should really only be used to cleanse your face and then you should use a facial wash and then you should use a toner and a moisturizer oils in general are not really meant to be left on the skin to be honest i would not recommend that but if you do want to use leave oil overnight then use as low comedogenity as possible is that a word comedogenity anyways i hope you get the point so i hope this helps if you want to find out if the oil you're using if it's good in terms of um you know how absorbing it is google comedogenic scale have a good night bye